either they exceeded their expectation or like any comment on that would be useful. Um, and do you think it is useful also to continue demanding a lot more Tableau using Tableau? So just if you have comment, just when you speak, you can um, you can comment on that. Is there anything um, Prosper you want to say before we start the stand-up? No, nothing from me. OK, great. So can we nominate people? And again, just taking note what you are, what you have done, and how happy you are with what you have done, and what you plan to do, and any challenge uh, or any kind of conceptual or technical blockage that you may think you will have or you have. So, shall we nominate? Can we nominate people? Is Lowell not here? Okay, great. So, Patrick? Good morning. 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 Yeah. Um, so, um, yesterday, um, yesterday I had a rough time in this time because I work on the next and I'm not going to use a stubborn um, virtual machine on my laptop. Um, but I, I was able to resolve it at the end of the day. So I think my tablet skill is very poor. I need to really work on it. Yeah, I, I, I need to improve on my tablet skill. After looking at what's definitely the effort, um, there's still more to do. And then I had a session with her. So I'm, I'm saying thank you to Stephen for helping me out yesterday. Um, as for the machine learning task, um, I've started working on it. Um, I'm looking forward to the Boa session today. I asked on this Slack group when the Boa session will be over because uh, I, I tried to check on the website and I couldn't find it. So I, I would like to know when our session will be over. So I, I look forward to our session to have a couple of questions to ask them. Probably get to the end of the stand up or probably after the stand up, as you always have time with us. Um, I, I listed a number of steps I would like to take in approaching the national impact. So I would like to hear your, um, I mean, yeah, but I would like to hear your input on those steps that I outlined for myself. Thank you. Very good. It was slightly hard for me to hear, but I, uh, if you could mute, perfect. Okay, can you hear me clearly now? Can you hear me better now? And I think the background is quite noisy, but uh, I think I, I heard a, a little bit. So I was just looking at is it in a slack that you mentioned this option? Um, no, no, no. I'm saying that I'm saying that um, probably getting to the end of the stand up. Uh, after the stand up, I would like to um, seek your seek um, your opinion about the outline that I gave myself in approaching the task. Good. Okay, so we will just have another 15 minutes after the um, the poll, and then we will get to anyone's outline. And you know, okay. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. So, uh, Elvis. Uh, good morning, everyone. Morning. Yes. Yeah, so, uh, about yesterday is uh from my side. Uh, I didn't reach the pinnacle of my goals regarding Tableau, and uh, that's because uh, I I was reading and researching a lot, and uh, you find that I have uh, a lot of content, but the time for implementing that uh, was so short, and uh, so I didn't want to exceed the the time. So I just did what I can. 
but uh, I just uh, have, I have purposed uh, as myself to to continue uh, researching more about Tableau and uh, to increase my my skills on on that. Yeah. So okay, that is it. Great. I think yeah, keep doing it. And do you think it will be useful also to keep asking people to use Tableau um, in the future projects? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I I strongly suggest that. Great. Okay, so Binion. Is Binion here? Okay, maybe Binion is not here. Uh, Claire? Is Claire here? Memory? Yeah, good morning. Morning. So, so far, um, the challenge for me has been interesting. Yesterday I was able to work on a, the interim sub, uh, submission and actually create dashboards, uh, though not as I expected to my best, but uh, I was sure I did something. So today I'm here to go ahead with task two. Yes, basically. And I don't think I have any blocker so far. And, Great. Uh, yeah. Thanks. Um, we have Ada. Uh, good morning. Morning. Um, uh, it was nice using Tableau yesterday. It was really interesting. Right now I'm focusing on the modeling part and I'm trying to embrace the code modularization technique that you've requested us to. That's it. Correct. So no no block blockage so far. No no blockage so far. I'm good. Okay. Ken? Uh yes. Yesterday I um, did the Tableau even, and um, after submitting it, I still learned more about Tableau, like just how to make the graphs like more presentable, like how you can like give like three insights in just one one single graph. And I also went ahead and read more about some of the um, some of the columns in the data. And just learning how they how they affect like they how they affect how people will invest probably because some of them I'm really like sure how people like are confident with the economy or what so I thought that that would be important when I'm doing the machine learning part. So today I'm planning to start on the machine learning part. Yeah. Great. That's great. And um, Rofia? Hi, good morning. Good morning. Um, yesterday I worked on the tableau and it was interesting. Um, I had a lot of help from Stephanie, so I just want to say thank you, Stephanie. I was able to build my dashboard and I submit it though I felt it wasn't okay. The dashboard I built wasn't okay, but I submitted what I had at that time. So I'm working on learning more on Tableau and also to start my task to today. Great. So that's great. I think it's it's um, good to hear everyone having progress. So Lotome. Uh, hello. Hello. Uh, good morning. 
Morning. Uh, the W task uh, yesterday, uh, it was well. I think uh, we can focus more on W2 uh, uh, since we can be able to, to to tell a lot from the data uh, by simply if you if you learn more about W, we can be able to utilize the power behind it to visualize to to do proper visualization. Uh, today I'm trying to focus on modular the the modular part on how to to organize my codes into into modules. I have problems with modular programming, so I'm trying to focus more time today on that. Yeah, that's all. Great. Yeah. So just if it helps, if you don't know it, probably another word to search for modularization is um, object-oriented programming. So just um, that may help when you search. Um, Emmanuel? Hello. Hello. Good morning, everyone. And the tax yesterday was was looking very scary when I started. As I said, like I started very late, but due to the help of very amazing people like Stephanie and among and yes, yeah, Stephanie, just Stephanie, like and some resources that were shared, I was able to scale through. Like I, I submitted like I don't know what I did something that I'm proud of a little bit. So I'm looking at this big tax, so I'm focused like. I already have ideas on my head on how to go about it, but I've not started writing any program on it. So I'll start working on it after this um, call and hopefully I'll finish before everything before the end of the week. Thank you very much. Great. Rahel? Hi, good morning. Um, and uh... Yeah, uh, it was fun learning uh, Tableau and uh, and Figma, and uh, yeah, but I I think I would I was not that confident from the results, so I had to do the the I had to understand my data uh, again and do it again from uh, Jupyter Notebook, just like we used to. And uh, maybe yeah, we need more practice on this to to you so to to use this only. But no, I I would prefer it. for now for me I have to use uh, Jupyter Notebook. I mean Seaborn and uh, Matplot for visualization. And uh, yeah, this morning I started uh, pre-processing. And uh, yeah, while well, thinking about what to write and how to write for the article. And. Uh, yeah, I have no blockers, so, except for the when the power goes out. Uh, that's my big, biggest problem I'm having right now. But as I think Nabil was saying, uh, it's not that bad. I mean, we can just, uh, I mean, if we can not just to relax, but if we can't, uh, like, afford to relax, and if we can't, uh, if we think we're too busy, we just grab a pen and a piece of paper and just write what we, just write what, just jog what about what to write for the report, yeah. or if we're submitting uh, a website, just draw some kind of um, uh, blue script for the interface and stuff. And it helps because uh, when we're rushing to submit and uh, uh, at the deadline, we just forget a lot of things from what you've been working. And the most uh, like the biggest issue I'm having since the start of this uh, challenge is that I'm not being like uh, confident enough to interpret my re results because I feel like I could have understood my data better or, or like find uh, different ways to to go to process the modeling and pre-processing stuff. But, uh, sometimes the, this, the, and I'm like up off the screen, it gives me time to think more about it, I just understand that, think about the challenge in what to write so that I will have something to write uh, at the submission. And uh, yeah, I think uh, if you have any problems, you should try that. And uh, yeah, thank you. Great, thank you. I think there are a number of interesting points you mentioned. Um, one is actually to use 
yesterday I also mentioned to use some kind of designing tools like Figma or Sketch or something similar. And I think that's really good. I recommend everyone to try to know at least one wire framing tool. And as I said, I know that at least one of the team last week were using Figma. Um, and so you could connect with them. Like I, I know Mo Kelly was doing that, something similar. And probably some of you already know also some other things. So please share if you know Sketch or if you know some other wire framing tools. It's good because this is, it, it, it kind of is uh, an, one of the tools that really simplifies life. Whenever you build dashboard, whenever you build websites, whenever you do anything, including um, anything that you were going to show, slides even, you know, it's like if you are going to show some kind of, if you have a startup and you, you, you want to have a pitch, and it's really good to to kind of get a wireframe of something and then kind of ask people to give comment before you actually implement it. So that's a good tool to have, and that's great. And another thing is, is really just this multi thinking, which is like while you are about to process thinking about what you're going to write and this kind of parallelly taking into account the different elements will really help later because at the while you are processing, you are also asking yourself, how are you going to write it? Like, do you understand it? So it's really a good way of thinking. So keep keep doing what you're doing, Rahel, and having also a pen and pencil just to have like to write down, to jot down in the process or to take a note while you are, where you are doing, even in a court, just commenting is really useful. So it's really um, good. That's, that's, uh, that's very good. So um, Victoria? Good morning, everyone. Morning. So yes, I okay. So I so much read earlier. I couldn't really stay there for long because my network is really terrible. So so much read earlier about how he had too much content but not enough time, and that was actually how I was yesterday because I actually got so much resources. Even the stuff you just shared now about you know um, wire framing and planning how your presentation will be. Like I got so much resources and I had so many ideas, but eventually I didn't have like enough time to implement or time at all. But I definitely am planning to go back and do it again, starting from scratch and planning how I want it to be. But so today I am looking to start um the start the code today. But first of all, I want to actually read and understand the papers, the papers that um that came with this week's challenge because I I have not read them. And I, I think the papers actually even contain like, some code. And so I plan to actually read the papers firstly to understand. Then I will now go into the code and everything. Thank you. Great. Thank you. I think an, another just thing that reminds me is definitely you don't have time. You know, we I, I know that and we know that and you know that. And so it's really about kind of juggling around and getting the best of all just within that small amount of time. Definitely these things would have been nice if you had three months to learn and to be good. But but know that you're gonna do that. So this is more like skimming through knowing, learning, getting the okay, the, the good habits, the good kind of uh, recommended way of doing something and kind of doing the best you can. And then you move on and hopefully they will repeat as you could see like many things repeat like many of the codes that you wrote are you are probably using them now if you have written them in some modular way it's like pre-processing is more or less the same you get a table once you transfer and that's what actual tableau does you know tableau just loads data and does things it's already once coded and that's that's then after that it's just again doing doing when you drop it's really doing one code right it's calling one code if it's a measure, do this. If it's a this, do that, right? So it's really like Tableau is one way that you would see how modularization can really help um, over and over whatever the type of data. So I think that's, we recognize the, the shortage of time, but get the best out of it um, and get exposed and kind of learn as much as you can. And then you move on, hopefully it will repeat. You'll get more chance to explore it. So Tableau will come probably next week again, to explore more, connecting it with a database um, and, and trying to visualize some more complicated, dirty data and stuff like that, okay? So, yeah, Victoria, I know we said Victoria, Stephanie? 
Good morning, everyone. Um, so Good morning. Yesterday, I was able to do the interim, and I submitted my work. This morning, I just created a workflow for the next days. I was, I was uh, the first thing was just to look at the class in Balas, and I'd like to thank Ada and Elekura for the for the uh, for the articles they shared. They were really helpful. So I'm working on just on the class imbalance and outliers, just making sure my data is ready before I can go to the modeling part. So, yeah. Thank you. Great. Thanks. So we have from Wamuyu in the text. Can, she cannot speak, but she is enjoying this week's uh, because it's building on week four and five. And um, so also just an, uh, working with Tableau being an alternative way of reporting. And um, that's, I think she's enjoying it. So, but uh, blockers are, while working on task 2.1, do we balance the asset, the classes first, then scale the data? Um, by balance, in this case, what would, like, um, that's a good question. Let me think after this and come back because Sometimes that's when you balance the class. I mean, you're basically dividing them and putting in a classes, but it shouldn't depend on. So when you are scaling, if you are scaling dimensions only, then it's not a problem. If you are scaling multiple dimensions together, then it's a problem. So if you are scaling dimension by a dimension, then it shouldn't, um, you shouldn't. I think it, it should be fine. And actually, like for all consistency, it's not good to to scale or normalize per class, per kind of division. Just you should do it at the early with, when you have all the data. Otherwise, you are creating artificial information. So do scaling normalization before doing anything on the whole dimension, before, before dividing it into bins. Hope that answers your question. If not, yeah, okay. So we have after that, um, Lawal. Lawal is recommending Lawal. Hello, good morning. Hello, morning. Yeah, so yesterday was quite interesting. Yeah, so I figured Tableau is well, a better way to visualize the tasks everybody have been saying. So I actually learned very quick yesterday, thanks to the session we had we had with Stephanie. So I got the I got a very good overview of it, and I also used the material, the materials, the short videos on the tableau site themselves. So yeah, I was able to do something, and I self-experimented myself on the website. So initially I did a dashboard, but then I remembered somebody saying during one of the sessions that she couldn't. I think it was Clark that she couldn't fit all the plot inside a dashboard and Jared mentioned that we could actually use a story. So I found a way to put it in a story and I think it was better than when I used the dashboard. So yeah. And I, I, I actually think it's even aside from being a data scientist, just in a normal day work like having been able to work with Tableau is something that is, is very nice. Because just yesterday that I was working through it, I've been able to think of like for different scenarios that it would have been better for me to use Tableau instead of using Excel. So yeah, and I, 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 yeah. So I had to I, I had to start a course on LinkedIn learning to actually learn the fundamentals of it very well and some advanced form of using it. So as I believe yeah, it's not aside from data science, it's just a very nice skill set to have. So I'm really grateful for having the opportunity to to learn it here. So I think I just let go of my interest in Power BI because I figured Tableau and Power BI are like sort of the same. So yeah, thank you. So I'll start the modeling today. Great. That's all for me. Awesome. So Charlene. I don't think she's here, or at least earlier also mentioned. Is Charlene here? Sorry, just I. If not, Janet. Okay. 
Jen, it's not here. Nahum? Okay, Nahum probably is not also here. Anna? Is Anna here? Hello, can you hear me? Yes, we do. Um, okay, so yes, yesterday I was also able to go through. Actually, I started on uh, on Monday. I wasn't able to attend classes because of uh, bundles, but uh, I did uh, research on my own and I figured out Tabla on my own. So yesterday, yes, I just tried to do the interim submission. It was nice trying to come up with a dashboard uh, creating for the first time. I've not used Tableau before, so it was nice uh, interacting with that platform. And after submission, I was able to go through the rest of the assignment, the rest of the tasks. <coughs> I'm sorry if I'm breathless, I'm outside. No, it's okay. And, uh, <laughs> we, have and the, uh, we have more, more noisy than that, so it's okay. We, we got used to it. <laughs> Okay, so yeah, and uh, I, I went through the code. I, I think this week it's going to be better and uh, I, I'm looking forward to this week. I can say I learned a lot from last week because uh, finally I'm understanding why we need the requirements.txt, exactly how we need it because I saw it in working last time installing Heroku. I also, at the beginning I was like, what's modular code, what's modular? I didn't know, it just meant classes, functions and... Uh, now I know that so and I can see from feedback from week four that I'm supposed to have more than two classes more than two functions to get uh, to get those uh, those marks so yeah I'm looking forward to this week my main blocker this week will be the bundles because eh, I have used a lot of MBs from the beginning there's no Wi-Fi from my area so <laughs> I've used a lot of MBs and it's caught up with me finally and uh, struggling to find another way so that I can attend uh, the six classes and uh, everything. Yeah, so that's that's from my side. Oh. So I think those of you who have some internet issues, just post it in one of them in case there are some other people who might help. So um, just let us know. I think that's good. Um, I mean, it's not a promise, but it's just like some people might help, might want to help. So in that case, the, it's good to have that, that kind of issues uh well understood so okay so we have glory next is glory here So we don't, she, okay, Glory is not here. So I would, I think it seems like everyone has able to speak. So I don't understand Emmanuel by Tableau Power BI. Uh, is that a greater sign or uh, an implication? I don't know what that is. Okay, so. I, I think it meant that Power BI, like Tableau is better than Power BI. Yeah, it's it could I don't know Power BI, so I can't compare it because I don't oh, use yeah. Windows. But um, the good thing about Tableau, it's definitely versatile. I mean, at least it's you can use it whichever tool you are using. So that's a for me a good thing. Like um, and also I think these days it's getting more. I think Power BI has its own advantage. So it, sometimes it really depends on which company you are working on. If you are working on on a company that already invests a lot in, in Windows frameworks, probably they would have Power BI. You have to learn it. It's, just, it's life. But if not, I would always, I mean, I for me personally, I would just use something else, my own dashboard or Tableau. Just, I mean, that's Tableau in particular when I'm doing like some kind of reporting for public, then Tableau really stands out because then you can just plot and share it, embed it. And that's really good. Um, okay, so I think let's stop the stand up here um, and then we can continue. I will continue for the next 15 minutes reflecting on um, any anyone has a plan.
in terms of like how they want to proceed with the so Arun, Ada, Arun, uh, and Ja are in the one-to-one -one meeting. Uh, so just feedback sessions. So, so yeah, like let's we'll continue with that one. Prosper, do you have anything to add before we stop the recording? Probably not. <laughs> 